Growing time from seed is insanely easy. All you need to know is in this video. Let's sow some time. First, start with a damp, light, fluffy mix and put a dish under the pot to keep one half to one inch of water in it at all times so the mix stays moist. This is important for this surface sowing method and for preventing fungal issues like dampening off, which may kill your seedlings. Two, lightly flatten the mix in the pot and scatter your thyme seeds on top. Then firm your seeds down lightly, ensuring good contact between the seeds and the wet soil. Don't cover the seeds with soil. This will actually reduce your germination rate, believe that or not. All right, now this step is optional. You can either lightly mist the seeds with water immediately after sowing, or you can cover them with a lid, whether that be plastic wrap, a plate, cardboard, whatever you have on hand. Now, you don't want to continue with the spraying because that could encourage fungal growth. Four, seeds should sprout within two to four days. Remove your cover plastic wrap within 48 hours of sowing. You don't want to wait until 48 hours after germination. You want to remove them shortly before or while they germinate. This will prevent fungal disease again, and you want to bottom water only. Five, when seedlings emerge, ensure that they have a sunny window or a grow light and good air circulation. Air circulation prevents fungal growth and having a breeze will strengthen your seedlings. Now, in order to achieve a small breeze, you could either put them in a window that you open frequently, or you could use one of those tiny desktop fans. They work perfectly. Six, continue bottom watering. At two weeks old, or when first tree leaves emerge, you can offer half strength liquid fertilizer once a week, but this is only if you use seed starter mix or those coconut bricks, since they offer no nutrients. If you're using potting mix or garden soil, wait until they're six weeks old because most of those usually have compost or fertilizer in them and you don't want to over fertilize your plants. Seven, at this size, seedlings can be carefully transplanted. If you're taking them to the garden, I would wait until time is about three to four inches tall, just so it has a little bit better of a chance at survival. Eight, follow hardening off procedures before moving seedlings outdoors as they may burn and shrivel up. The last thing you wanna do is take a potted plant from indoors on your counter and moving it out into the harsh late spring or summer sunlight. That's just a bad idea and you may lose your seedlings. Nine, time enjoys a sunny spot, but I've had it thrive on a porch with part sun. You also don't want to leave it sitting in water and you don't want it completely dry. Be sure that the potting mix stays somewhat moist and before you water, stick a finger into the soil about an inch deep and see if it's completely dry. If it is completely dry, then I would go ahead and water. If you guys have any questions, just ask in the comments and thank you all for watching.